Hello, Nerdy Librarian, here bringing you episode 3 of Gone Fishing, or Gone Fishing Part 3. <laughs> wow, it's it's been a little bit. Um, So, last time, for the last Gone Fishing bonus content video that I did here, um, it was no contest and stocking up. So, no contest, um, apparently, there, there wasn't... A contest. The contest was a lie, just like the cake was a lie in Portal. I was bamboozled, swindled out of money by bandits in disguise, saying that they wanted a fishing contest, so I'm glad I only gave up 500 gold, but I took care of them, got the gold back, and I fished up Brutus's lost ring, which I can show you in my inventory. I know I've showed it in the uh, legendary playthrough itself on that, but I can go through it again on this. And then the other one, stocking up, um, got the catfish that I needed. Also, this is kind of broken here, I have to laugh at this a little bit, it says obtain three catfish for Veda and Dragon Bridge, and it says one out of three. So, it, that's excellent. Well balanced. Uh, and last time as well, I believe I completed the Caught in the Rain quest on that. Or I could... I could be wrong on that, actually. No, no, I, I think I did do that. I don't... Oh, there's in my time of need. It finally showed up in that, which... I was having issues with that quest having not showed up as completed. Even though I had completed it, so it looks like it just popped itself in there. So... So, yeah. Today... Uh, I'm going to be starting with Crustacean Extermination. There's a fishing shack that's west of Dawnstar. Have I been to Dawnstar in this playthrough yet? I have not. Wow, okay. That's interesting. I guess I haven't had need to go up to Dawnstar yet. That kind of makes sense. I don't, I don't really do much in Dawnstar, to be honest. It's not one of my favorite cities to hang out in. I'll pop in occasionally to sell wares, but other than that. But there should be a carriage here that'll take me over there. Ah, yes. There. Need a ride? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Ah, uh, don't stop. Climb and back and we'll be off. Ooh, man. You ready to go yet? 50 gold. They really don't like the, uh... Once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's dead. They really don't like taking the carriages into the snow. They, they don't like doing that. Another thing... And, and another thing there, he was singing uh, Ragnar the Red. Which... Typically, I don't actually hear the carriage drivers uh, singing tunes that are sung by bards. Um, is that a thief? What? That, that's not a thief, is it? No, it's a saint's bandit just out in the wild. Yeah, I went and did the uh, saints and seducers in episode 18 of legendary playthrough what was that? so he, no, whoa no. whoa whoa they just locked on to where i was even though i was perfectly hidden there wow well so here's what i can do i can give him a really bad day here i'll just lure him into town into Dawnstar and see what happens. I mean, there are Dawnstar guards around. Hopefully this goes well. Although, knowing how overpowered the uh, Saints and Seducers were when I was playing through that, because they are scaled like uh, endgame enemies, as far as I can tell, with this being legendary playthrough, it it's much harder. Also, I see the Saints Bandit just dropped down into uh, dropped down into Dawnstar here. 
Okay. This guard's doing battle. Oh, I. Let's see. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why are the NPCs getting in on this? No. That didn't go well in episode 18. It, there's, it's not likely going to go well in this either. So I need to. I need to make sure that the NPCs survive. Well, that's what I mean by kind of overpowered. So, yeah, that's annoying. We have to go take the carriage again and maybe not lead the Saints Band into Dawnstar because it's going to kill the NPCs in-game, which apparently, well, which those NPCs were the ones at the forge there in Dawnstar. So I would rather they not be the ones that get axed. Thank you very much. I mean, sure, I could look up console code and that sort of thing, but I I usually only use that as last resort. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? It's just climbing back, and we'll be off. Like, get up there. It, it would have made more sense for the NPCs in the games to not be able to be killed by in game by bandits or that sort of thing or other NPCs it would have made much like with traveling companions the way those work where unless you're unless you are the one to have the final hit on them um, they'll they'll just be down in one knee and continue, it'll be just fine <laughs> Are you prepared to die? I know that's the gist of what you said. <laughs> Run away. Oh. Yeah, so with this new uh, fishing in Skyrim and that sort of thing, that shack is not normally there. Yeah, that, that fishing shack is, it doesn't exist, or it didn't exist prior to the expansion. Oh, and there's a dragon here, we're going by some bandits, oh boy, here we go, get away from me, there's no need for that. How far is the saints bandit going to chase me? Great. It's gonna be one of these episodes, isn't it? Yeah, this is really why I don't typically go to Dawnstar. Because there, there's not much you can do in that. Like, if you have to leave, if you have to fast travel to Dawnstar and then go somewhere. If you encounter stuff out there, it's it's bad. There's it's just Need a, ride? a lot Need of it's flat ground. Climbing back and we'll be off. Why is it always raining? Why is it always raining? That's a very good question. I do not know. This rain will stop eventually. Oh. <laughs> wow, there's more dialogue to that? Did not realize. Um yeah, so... I'm looking for- I'm looking for the bandit. I know they're there. Where are they? There they are. Yep. Doesn't matter that I'm hidden there, locked onto my- Wait. What is going on here? I see more individuals behind them. Oh, I definitely missed that. Okay. Okay. 
there's more arrow drop than that. No, there's just straight up three of them. Great. Um. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to run from them the entire way, I think. Unless, I do know of a location up this way that works well for this sort of thing. Granted, it means we're going to have to go really out of the way of this fishing quest that I have, but I don't think I have... I don't think I have a lot of other options available to me at the moment. Because these Saints Bandits are horrific, and then there are another three Red Dots Wolves. Okay, let's just let's just anger all of the enemies in the game, why don't we? Ah, uh, gosh! Okay. Alrighty then. I mean, that wasn't necessarily what I had in mind on that. I think it might work out a little bit though. Although, I think the bandits are still gonna be after me. <sighs> All I wanted to do was, you know, take, ser take care of some mud crabs. <laughs> this is not ideal. This is not what I had in mind for this episode. Okay, well. They probably swiftly dealt with the mammoth, the giant, and the wolf. Nope, they're still working on it. They're still working on them. Oh, I didn't even get sneak attack on the one. I'm not even getting sneak attack on them. Come on. And they're still after me. Great. Um, ooh, 105 iron arrows. I'm gonna need to restock on those at some point, I think. They're, they're kind of my go-to. Okay, this'll work. Oh, bad time for controller to conk out. Bad timing. No, but I, I do think this'll kind of work for my purpose. I these, these bandits just need to stop. Me. Which apparently they're not right now. No, I can wait and have them spawn near me. It looks like, which is fine. I'll make that work. Yeah, so they're they're gonna try to chase me up this way, and when they do. Let's just say I'm going to have the upper hand. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a ski jump gone wrong. Okay. So it says... It says there's still three dots down there, but I know... I took, well, I took care of some, oh, oh, there's more, wait, where are they all coming from, that's not how this was supposed to go, it's not what I was expecting, way to subvert expectations, um, yeah, you gotta go. Like, I, I'm sorry, but the, the slope awaits you. Just, just go. Just get out of here. Bye. Okay, there's still a red dot down there. Oh. Hello. Oh, they're an archer. On Legendary, I don't... I do not recommend going up against an archer that is obviously seen. Yeah, no, there were six of them, five or six of them. That's just confusing. 
Here they come. Hey. Oh, oh no. Bad fall. Oh. Oh, that looks painful. Okay. And they've been dealt with. Thank goodness. Getting really tired of, really tired of that. Note on revenge for Kinthal. For example, the Khajiit wretch that slew Kinthal will pay dearly for what he's done. By my hand, the scales will be balanced. When I return victorious, there will be no doubt that I should lead the saints from here on. Okay, so, yeah, apparently this is a random encounter that you can come up against after... De defeating the saints and seduce going through saints and seducers good to know just wish it hadn't been at Dawnstar well good news is they're dealt with and I've quick saved Good day. Which also, having run through Red Rock Pass there, I think it was called Red Rock Pass, something like that. Can go ahead and probably safely loot it. Yeah, because the giant and mammoth are have were dealt with. Some golden lock fix. That's okay. Giant, giant's toe, some arrows, and some gold. One of the bandits that was following me went down here, so that's that's good. Yeah, so there were, yeah, there were six or seven of them. Insane, absolutely insane. Also, I think I think there also might be a dragon in the area still. You know. Dang it, already about 20 minutes into the recording, and we're just now getting to where we're supposed to be. It's ridiculous. I can prolong it no longer. We are going to take care of mud crab. That's what we came here for, and so that's what we're going to do, okay? Yeah, so... Today, what I'm hoping to be able to do with this is go through enough fishing quests to be able to unlock another fishing rod. Because at the end of at the end of Gone Fishing 2, managed to secure an Argonian fishing rod, which allows for catching larger fish, which are likely going to be worth more. And then on top of that. There is also supposedly a dwarven uh, fishing rod that can be dealt with. Also, what is going on here? I didn't even see them. Oh my gosh, they are quick. Ho oh, ho ho! Somebody's give, been given mud craps and steroids. Uh, please no. <laughs> also, please no. So much, please no. Oh, gosh. This is just not my recording. This is not my day. My goodness. Uh, ice, ice wolves can definitely take ice damage. That's for sure. Get out of here! Oh no, that's a bandit plunder. They can probably take me out with one arrow. Because I'm at lower health than max. Oh, not ideal, not ideal at all. You know, maybe I baited the mud crabs far enough where they're now fighting against a 
dragon, some wolves, and some bandits? That would be honestly amazing. Oh, that plunder is still following me, though. I just can't sneak away from anything today, can I? Okay, dragon came in for a landing. Looks to be a frost dragon. By the spikes and those sorts of things. Yeah, it's, it's a frost dragon. A lot of health on that thing. Hit it with three arrows, it looks like. And those bandits are still after me. And it did a flyby. I don't appreciate that. I'm also out of my big healing potions, it looks like. I don't... I don't think I survived this one. I, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to make it out of this safely. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, no, this area is just so bad. Yeah. Now we have to run through here again. Yeah, I do not like Dawnstar. I do not like Dawnstar Hold. I do not. It is probably my least favorite in the game. I would have said Morthal. Morthal is usually home to a bunch of swamps and vampires. But in this case, I'm making an exception because, yeah, it's just, it's unpleasant from my perspective right now. I, I'm just trying to, to take out these mud crabs. And I'm being kept from doing so by everything out in the wild here. It's crazy. Well, let's try this again. I swear this is not insanity. Yeah, why don't we just keep these from being used? Yep, there. It's gonna chase me out. Get out of here. Be gone! Uh, there's a Dweemer Ruin Nzinshlift, which also has a whole bunch of bandits who have spotted me apparently because. I guess I was just here. Well, yeah, that's great. There's the dragon. Oh. Gosh, dang it. Get. Are you seeing how bad my luck is today? And the dragon just came in for landing, didn't it? Yeah. It did. It literally just did. Where are you? I mean, I, I appreciate that it's trying to fight the dragon. Also, the bandits don't have any idea where I'm at. But if the dragon swoops in on them, I might have some extra uh, firepower on my side. Yeah, so it says it's just a normal dragon, but it might have an elevated health bar. It's entirely possible. I'm also afraid that this thing's going to be doing flybys on me. Uh, I hit a weird hitbox there. Okay. Hug the stone wall there. Oh no, it's it's trying it. It was gonna try to get me. It was gonna try to be cheeky about it. Not standing for that. No, you cannot be a cheeky trap. It decided to anyways. It just said no. It just Gosh! I just want to take out some mud crabs, game. Oh. 
You won't get the best of me. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Let me just get out this side. Thank you very much. I was literally inside of a I literally glitched through a building there. That's not how that's supposed to go. Also, I don't I don't wanna be here. There's so many bandits here. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Why did I come here? This was such a bad idea. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it's one of those things where if you've ever thought about what would happen, what you would do if you were in a zombie apocalypse or a horror movie and you just make those terrible mistakes, it's it's like it's like that, I, I want to say it's Geico TV commercial, something like that. It's just, you always make the worst decisions. I just did that. I did that. I made the worst decision. I'm living with the consequences of that. But I did safely get out of the Mizenschlift area. So here's the question now. Where did the dragon go? It, it just disappeared? I don't buy that for a second. It's gotta be around here. There has to be a dragon around here. Also, I'm gonna go out and quick save so that the run back isn't as long. Oh. A dragon burial site. That might have something to do with it. I'm just gonna sneak for Um... Okay, this is where the one ice wolf went. That was the one that was chasing me, I think. Uh, who's this on the road? Find them. Really? Are you gonna do this to me, game? I swear. It's just giving me everything bad in this up in this bonus content episode. I thought this was going to be Gone Fish in 3. Hopefully it'll still be. But we're almost 30 minutes into the recording, and now I've encountered... Oh my gosh. Just everything that could be coming after me. Saints and seducers. Cultists. Wolves. Dragons. I'm at a loss for words right now. This is insane. This is insanity. So, I well, those cultists are going to have to be taken out. I know they're probably patrolling on the road, because that's what they did last time I encountered them. Yeah, there they are. Get their attention. If they search over this way, they're going to encounter uh, Imperial soldiers. Like, uh, this, this fine gentleman here, look at him, he's just looking, he's looking spiffy, he's look, oh, okay, yeah, he, he's staring me down. Mm, nothing here after all. Yeah. Yep, get their attention. Yes, please, I, I would like some protection here, I... I, I'm seeking, I'm... Boost. Hey, pea brain this way. <laughs> oh, don't conk out controller, please. Not then, not there. Hello, everyone. Yeah, um... There's some baddies over the ridge. I would like some help with them, please. Oh, there's the dragon. It looks like it returned. Okay, good. The Imperial soldiers are going after the cultists. Yep, there's the dragon. I knew it was going to return. This time around, though, I think... 
think of better chance. Um, yeah, I'm going to run into the little uh, Imperial camp here and hopefully hide in a tent. Ooh, I'm in the medical tent. Ooh, sorry, I feel feel bad for you guys. I'm not gonna steal any of that. I don't want to do that. Did I accidentally hit an Imperial soldier with an arrow? I'm I'm wondering if I accidentally did that. Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon. How are you? No, 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 no. You, you don't want me. You, you want you want the cultists, Imperial soldiers. That's what you want. Okay. Don't don't worry about me. I'm just trying to go after some mud crabs. Capiche? Capiche? We good? Do we have an understanding? Do we have an uneasy alliance? Well, I don't see the dragon anymore. Doesn't mean it's not still here. Oh, it's over there. Um, I do see Imperial soldiers that are down for the count. I think the cultists might be down though. I don't know if the dragon took care of them. I don't know if the Imperial soldiers took care of them. Probably a combination of both. Oh no. Oh, no, the cultists went over there. They ran away. I just saw one get chucked. He just, oh, he just had a bad day. Oh, that's a terrible day. That is the worst. Just got gobbled. Munched on by a dragon. Really? You're gonna do that, dragon? I, I get it. You don't like being pelted by arrows from me. That's just how it is. That's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna fire arrows at you. And you're gonna take them. That's how, how, that's how this relationship works. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Well, I think we're all I think we're all fine in this tent here. To be honest, I, I think it's working out just fine. Ah, I'm still on fire. Hot, hot. Okay, it's gone out. It's gone out. Uh, where where to go? Where'd the dragon go? <laughs> no! <gasps> what? I didn't know we stormed that. Yeah, I think I need to be in the medical tent now. <laughs> uh, medic. <laughs> okay. So, I know we're going to encounter cultists on the road. I can see them. They are patrolling there. We know that's gonna happen. We know there's a dragon out and about. We also know that I cannot hide in a tent. <laughs> We found that out. The dragon just says, oh, you're in a tent? Cute. You're gonna get munched. Hello, lunch. <laughs> Snack time. Yeah, no, as, as much as I really want to get around to fishing this episode, that might be a foregone conclusion <laughs> with all that's going on. It, it... This is... It's just not going well. Oh, hello, dragon. There you are. Oh no, it's beelining towards me, isn't it? Yep. Yep, it's it's just trying to get me. This is just unfortunate. Like no matter which way I go, I'm just getting harassed by every single enemy entity that could ever come after me. <laughs> All for what? Why? Like, why, why is this happening? So, what this tells me is this might be a longer uh, Gone Fishing episode than the past ones, because I can't even, I'm not even able to go fishing with what's going on. Cheeky. 
Oh, you gotta be like that, dragon. Yeah. 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 If I join you, I... Uh, I may have brought a bit of a dragon shoe. It, it was unintentional. <laughs> uh, imagine the voice actor for that line being told. Yeah, we need we need you to make uh, some grunting sounds. <laughs> like, like, like you're in combat or you're taking pain. You know, taking pain, in pain. I in pain is probably the correct term on that, right? I mean, no, no one says taking pain. They say taking damage, but they don't say taking pain. No, I'm, I'm glad I have others on my side against this dragon. That's, that's at least something, and I'll go ahead and pop a quick save, because... We're in this for the long haul. This dragon has to be dealt with. There's no way around it. Like, sorry dragon. You brought this on yourself. You gotta go. Right? Like, there's no other way this is gonna go down. That, the dragon has to go. Just be gone, dragon. Be gone. Can't do anything about it when it's below the ridge line like that, especially when the Imperial soldiers are just lining up in front of where I need to take a shot at. Just, just get get out of the way, please. Oh, this looks like a nice tent. What's in here? Uh, I'm not going to take any of that because that would be stealing. I don't really want to steal from you guys. I definitely can't get sneak attack on this dragon. He obviously knows I'm here. Yet, yeah, no, for whatever reason, stealth just hasn't been working out for me today. Like, with the Saints and Seducers, they just lock on to your location, no matter where you are, hidden or not. Um, I just haven't been able to be hidden long enough to truly get sneak attack. Um, well, the, the Imperial Soldiers are doing a good job, it seems like. They're, hol they're holding off the dragon. That's really all I can ask. That's that's really all they can do. That's what has to happen. The dragon is about at about half health, so that's good. I'm just gonna sneak my way back over to here. I'm sure the dragon knows exactly where I am. Probably, but it went back to attacking the Imperial soldiers, so hopefully we can get it grounded. How much more damage does it have to take before it's just like, I can't use my wings anymore? I cannot fly? I'm like a flatless bird with scales? <laughs> Alright, you big giant, giant flying snake. There you go. Yeah, now you're grounded. Well. Now the Imperial soldiers can start dishing out damage. Uh, except they, except they are all going down. Are you kidding me? So the dragon has effectively taken out all of the Imperial soldiers. And now it is going, I'm going to take everything 
I'm going to turn my attention to you. And this is where the plan falls apart. Also, I'm out of healing potion. Or I'm, yeah, I'm out. I'm completely out of healing potions. I can regenerate health faster, but I don't have anything that grants me health. Oh no, those, that's... No, you don't need to do that, dragon. You don't need to do that. No need. There's no need. No need. Absolutely none. Get away from them. Those are the, the sick and the wounded. Get away from them. It's me you want. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come after me. It's me you want, dragon. <sighs> Thank goodness for that. Oh, okay. It didn't even mess with the sick and the wounded. Um, bad news is I don't think there's anybody left to tend to them. Oh, there's the, uh, like, uh, oh, 55 steel arrows, yes, please, thank you, I'll take my iron arrows back as well. Keep an eye out for trouble, it's only a matter of time. Uh, what's the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? I'm not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, and protect the citizenry. Skyrim's days are darkening. And the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. Ah. I'll take my leave then. Oh, man. This was quite the battlefield. Uh, I think the Imperial soldiers lost on this one. I don't know why. I, I just... Something bad happened here. That's all I can say. Oh, oh, that was the quartermaster. Ooh. Okay, well. I could go back after those cultists. I don't know if they are still around. Okay, it appears that they are. But they're patrolling on the road. As long as I avoid the roads, I think I should be fine. I want to go take. I really want to go take care of those mud crabs now. Thank you very much. So, I'm gonna switch over to the steel arrows because I just picked up 55 of those. They do two extra damage. I don't know if that two damage gets multiplied with sneak attack or if it's just the base damage of the bow that gets multiplied by for sneak attack. What I do know is this. Here's what I know. I'm being harassed by wolves again. I don't like it. I absolutely despise it. Item has insufficient charge. Okay, well... Since that is the case, let me just go ahead and... Uh, recharge it because I need to okay let's quick save again man almost 45 minutes into recording and yeah We're, we are just now being able to go against the mud crabs again like everything that I could be going against like everything that could be a problem has been a problem Everything has gone wrong today. Let's have something start going right for a change. Well, I mean, Dragon got taken out. The wolves have been dispatched. So maybe stuff is starting to go in my favor a little bit. Hello, you tiny little mud crabs. You're not the ones that I need to go after over there, but, I mean... You're something at least, right? Yeah. Oh, I... You know, I... I... Ooh. Simtar, that's fun. Curved swords. Curved swords. Like, they always freak out about curved swords, the guards do. Potion of healing, thank you. Jade and Emerald Circlet. The Daughter of the Niven. Alteration increased to 22. This is by Sathir. Sathir Longnet. 
Braville is one of the most charming towns in Cyrodiil, sparkling in her simple beauty, illustrious by her past. No visit to the southern part of the Imperial province is complete without a walk along Braville's exciting river port, a talk with her friendly native children, and of course, in the tradition of the village, a whispered word to the famous statue of the lucky old lady. Many thousands of years before the arrival of the Amorians, the native Ail, Eilid people had long lived in the vicinity of modern-day Braville. The Nibbin then, as now, provided food and transportation, and the village was even more populous than it is today. We're not certain what they called the region, as insular as they were. The word they used would be translated to simply mean home. These savage Eliots were so firmly entrenched that the Braville region was one of the very last areas to be liberated by the Elysian army in the second century of the first era. The little remains of that era, culturally or archaeologically, thank Mara, the tales of debauchery and depravity have entered into the realm of legends. How the Elites were able to survive such a long siege is debated by scholars to this day. All, however, grant the honor of the victory to one of the Empress Alessius Centurions, a man named Terbrabilius Tassus, the man for whom the modern town is named. It was said he invaded the village no less than four times, after heavy resistance, but each time upon the morning, dawning, all his soldiers within would be dead, murdered. By the time more Centuria had arrived, the fortified town was repopulated with Aelids. After the second successful invasion, secret underground tunnels were found and filled in, but once again, come morning, the soldiers were again dead, and the citizens had returned. After the third successful siege, legions were posted outside of the town, watching the roads, and riverway for signs of attacks, but no one came. The next morning, the bodies of the invading soldiers were thrown from the parapets of the town's walls. Teo Brevilius Tassus knew that the Aelids must be hiding themselves somewhere in the town, waiting until nightfall, and then murdering the soldiers while they slept. The question was where. After the fourth invasion, he himself led the soldiers in a thorough inspection of every corner, every shadow. Just as they were ready to give up, the great centurion noticed two curious things. High in the sheer walls of the town, beyond anyone's ability to climb, there were indentations and narrow platforms. And by the river just inside the town, he discovered a single footprint from someone clearly not wearing the imperial boot. The Aelids, it seemed, had taken two routes to hide themselves. Some had levitated up to the walls and hidden themselves high above. And others had, sli- others had slipped into the river, where they were able to breathe underwater. It was a relatively easy task once the strange elves, even stranger hiding holes, had been discovered to rout them out and see to it that there were no more midnight assassinations of the Empress's troops. It may seem beyond belief that an entire community could be so skilled in these spells hundreds and hundreds of years before the Mage's Guild was formed to teach the ways of magic to the common folk. There does, however, appear to be evidence that, just as the Saijiks on the Isle of Arteum developed mysticism. Long before there was a name for it, the even more obscure Aelids of southern Cyrodiil had developed what was to be known as the School of Alteration. It is not, after all, much of a stretch when one considers that other Aelids at the time of Breville's conquering, and even later, were shapeshifters. So, I mean, I guess druids is, would, that would be the term for it. The community of pre Breville could, could not turn into beasts and monsters, but they could alter their bodies to hide themselves away. A related and useful skill to be sure, but not so effective to save themselves in the end. Very little is left of the Aelid presence in Braville today, though ar- architectural marvels of other kinds are very evident. As beautiful and arresting as the benevolence of Mara Cathedral and the Lord's Palace are, no man-made structure in Braville is as famous as the statue called the Lucky Old Lady. The tales about the lady and who she was are too numerous to list. It was said she was born the illegitimate daughter of a prostitute in Breville, certainly an inauspicious beginning to a lucky life. She was teased by the other children, who forever asked her who her father was. Every day she would run back to her little shack in tears from their cruelty. One day, a priest of Stendar came to Breville to do charitable work. He saw the weeping little girl, and when asked, she told him the cause of her misery. She didn't know who her father was. You have kind eyes and a mouth that tells no lies, replied the priest after a moment, smiling. You are clearly a child of Stendar, the god of mercy, charity, and well-earned luck. 
The priest's thoughtful words changed the girl forever. When she was asked who her father was, she would cheerfully reply, I am a child of luck. She grew to be a barmaid, it was said, kind and generous to her customers, frequently allowing them to pay when they were able to. On a particularly rainy night, she gave shelter to a young man dressed in rags, who not only had no money to pay, but was belligerent and rude to her as she fed him and gave him a room. The next morning, as he left without so much as a thank you, her friends and family admonished her, saying that she had to be careful. He might even be dangerous. A week later, a royal carriage arrived in Braville with an imperial prince within. Though he was scarcely recognizable, it was the same young man the lady had helped. He apologized profusely for his appearance and behavior, explaining that he had been kidnapped and cursed by a band of witches, and it wasn't until later he had returned to his senses. The lady was showered with riches, which she, of course, generously shared with all the people of Braville, where she lived to a content old age. No one knows when the statue of her was erected in the town square, or who the artist was, but it has stood there for thousands of years, since the first era. To this day, Visitors and Brevillians alike go to the lucky old lady to ask for her to bless them with luck in their tra travails. Just one more charming aspect of the charming and very lucky village of Brevill. Okay, to all of you people who do not read books in Skyrim, and to all those who have played Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, this is, it's lore dumping is what it's doing. I mean, that that's that's lore for that game. So don't skip those books. I don't like this. What what's it telling me to do here? Investigate the area near the fishing shack west of Dawnstar. Okay. Oh. Hello. What are you doing out here? Oh. Bandits. Wait. I have a question. I have a very serious question. Like, that, that looked to be either a hold guard or a stormcloak soldier. That was fighting against the bandits. Now, I might just be missing something here in all of this, but I mean, it, it's a that's got to be a little strange, right? Okay, I definitely hit that, but it didn't grab the attention of anything. That was wolves that I got the attention of? I knew they looked weird. I knew it. They didn't look like mud crabs. They weren't mud crabs. They were wolves in mud crabs clothing. In a mud crabs area. Also, that dragon skeleton just showed up. Because I know it was up at the Imperial camp, which is that way. So I guess I'm having that glitch happen, too. What is happening today in-game? What is happening? Okay. Gotcha. You will be a pest to me no longer, <laughs> wolves. I'm tired of it. I've had it up to here. And I know you can't see how high my hand is right now. It is well above. Well above my head, about as far as I, as I can go with that. I've had it up. 
I've just had it. There's spiky grass around here. I kind of want it. There we go. Grass pod. Discovered. Okay. Well, it wants me to investigate the area, so I'm going to... Poose! Alright, so the mud crabs are on to me, it looks like. Yeah, there are 12 frenzied mud crabs that need to go. I'm going to run away here, because... I might be able to lose them, and if I do, I can get sneak attack damage. The fact that there's 12 of them is just insane. I mean, I need to take out 12 of these things. Good news is I have arrows that correspond to where they're at. Bad news is they can burrow in the ground and... Ooh, that's one of them right there. Oh, sneak attack is so good against these things. As long as they don't miss. Like I did twice. Okay, well... Oh, here they come. Missed it. That was a dodge on its part. Okay, that's one taken out. Two taken out. Of course they resist paralyze. Like, I have a bow of paralysis and they just refuse. They say, absolutely not. We, we don't want to get paralyzed. They, they just laugh at me. They go, paralyze? Ha! Joke's on you. Okay, it looks like a second wave of mud crabs is making their way out there, so... Let's, uh, take them out. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I, they're getting paralyzed there. Who? Oh yeah, I've def I've definitely been spotted. <laughs> they definitely know I'm here. Yeah, that's the, that's the only problem with uh, the paralysis ability. You apparently can't get sneak attack on enemies that have been paralyzed. Which is a real shame. Ah, uh, yeah. Running out of stamina. That's excellent. Let me just chug a couple of these. Bye bye. Okay. So that one said it was the kind of weird. No. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Ooh, an amethyst on you? Don't mind if I do. Thank you for that. Yeah, no, this, this is just absurd I am I am so ready to move on to just some actual fishing <laughs> in game like not gonna lie I wanted to do some fishing quests and all I got was catfished and not by catfish this time it was by mud crabs. But you know what? Things are on the up and up. Things are going better. We're about an hour into this recording, and we're actually exterminating some mud crabs that need to be dealt with. We're actually doing what we were hired to do. Oh, these are stronger mud crabs. <laughs> Does that mean they're faster, too? I really hope not.
Oh. Oh, you must be the parents. <laughs> nice. Resisted paralysis. Okay. Fine. You know, I, I see a bunch of rocks here that your shells can get cracked open on, and I go, Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Strike. They're still coming after me. These these mud crabs. Wow. Okay. Well, you're tougher than the other ones. Ha! I'd like to see you get me up here. Yeah. No. You you can't. Can you? It's over, mud crab. High ground. Which, mind you, high ground doesn't always work. In this case, I think it is. Mud crabs cannot climb these rocks, and they don't have ranged attacks. It's just, it's just them and the pincers. Pincers. I think it's. Oh. Oh gosh, I got hit from behind by one of Get out of here. They do a serious amount of damage. I mean, granted I am playing on Legendary, but still that was about half my health just from one hit. Like, props to you. It was it was a good good sneak attack on me, Mudcrab, but still. Ridiculous. I, I can see why you've been a problem for so long. I can see why you need to go. Let's see if we can get sneak attack on it. Yep. Oh, you tried to hide? Nope. None of that. I've only taken eight mud crabs out so far. There's still four of them. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I only count three arrows on the little mini map up there, or on the little compass up there. I'm a little worried about what that means. I'm half wondering if there's going to be like a boss battle version of one is the twelve. That would be really unfortunate. Also, they're wandering pretty far. Like there there's one that went over this way. I don't know if it's giving some bandits a bad day or not. Well, there's, there is a bandit that's shooting at me. arrow. Whatever that means. So they might do my job for me on that one. Or the mud crab might just rinse them. Either way, it works out. Somehow. Like, on one of those options, I'd still have to finish the mud crab off. But in any event, you know, I'm glad for the helping uh, pincer. <sighs> no. Okay, did you see what was off in the distance there? I believe those are gargoyles. Are those, are those gargoyles? Let me see if I can actually hit one with an arrow. Because I couldn't tell you right now. I think... Yeah, they're gargoyles. 
Remember that thing when I said everything that could be coming after me here in Dawnstar Hold is? It's never this bad. There are never this many enemies out here all at once. But now, I haven't even done the Dawn Guard DLC yet this playthrough. <laughs> You're throwing gargoyles at me? Why? Good news, I think they took out the, uh, the last mud crab. Ooh, missed it. Still missing. It's not just a... Oh, it's just a straight shot. Okay. Resisted paralysis. That's, uh... Usually how that goes. Yeah, no, this is just... Oh, this is real unfortunate. I'm just gonna hide here and hope they don't see me. Yeah, so much for that. That's not working out. Every time I go to take out these mud crabs, it's just something new, something different. It's like a new guest on the Muppet Show each week. Insane. Ah, oh, they're still behind me. Uh, run away. I I'm looking for a good spot to use Unrelenting Force on them, and I'm just, I'm not finding anything too overly spectacular. So I'll work with what I've got. Yep, just take a couple more of those while I'm around here. They can probably follow, follow me up on these rocks. Actually, I think there's only one gargoyle left. I think I gave the other. Oh, 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 Imperial soldiers are back. Oh, the, the like, it was the like it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Let's see what the gargoyle had on it. They usually have some good stuff. Like ores and gems. Looks like this time around it's no different. So let's see what happens to the other one. Because I know I shouted both of them down. Where'd it go? Because I know I shouted at him in this direction. This is once again proof that I'm really bad at finding things that I've shouted down a mountain or just anywhere. I mean, it doesn't help that it's constantly snowing here. Also, oh, hey, also that's a fishing spot, I think. Just getting distracted, or it might just be. No, it's just crates. It's just crates. Never mind. Disregard that, that is not a fishing spot. It is officially not a fishing spot. Don't try to fish there, because you can't. Like to think that you can, but you can't. So where'd the other gag oil go? Where'd the gag oil go? Oh, there it is. There's the gag oil. It was blending with the rocks. Orc arrow, flawless garnet, regular garnet, malachite ore, silver ore. My steel arrow. I like seeing silver ore on that. Good for making jewelry. Once I can make ingots. Alright. Quick save once again. Let's go finish off those mud crabs. Finally. <laughs> it, it's finally time to finish them off. Hopefully. Unless something else comes to attack me. Because this, uh, this area is the worst. <laughs> Oh no, no, there, there are two of them right there. Okay. That's two of them. I'm, I'm almost out of stamina again because I keep zooming in with my bow. Boy. This 
is just an unfortunate series of events. Whoosh! Ah! Oh wow, that actually worked? Huh. Wait, are you just- you're not just- You're a frenzied mud crab, right? Yeah, it says you're a frenzied mud crab. But you're not showing up with an arrow. Did the, did the quest glitch? Huh. Okay. So there's a twelfth one somewhere that... Right? Right, there, there's gotta be. There's gotta be a 12th one. Somewhere. There has to be. This is a nice quicksilver ore. Like, don't do this to me. Do not glitch this quest. Oh, severe. Vagrant items. 30th of Sun's Height, 4th Era, 201. To master the art of necromancy, one requires a constant supply of corpses upon which to practice. Well, this is already starting out nice and dark now, isn't it, Sevius? Here on the coast, I can practice my arts undisturbed, save for a lone fisherman I convinced to let me rest in his shack. Amazing how far a few potions and fire salts can take you. Soon, I will begin the pacification ritual that will bring me wave after wave of docile creatures to slay and practice my abilities. Second of last seed, fourth era, 201. The ritual's complete. Mud crabs arrive from the sea in droves, each ready to surrender their life. Already I feel myself growing stronger in the dark arts. I bring down the knife and see life's flame extinguished from their eyes. Oh gosh, this guy's a madman. Then I raise my hand and see it spark once more. I bring the knife back down again. The others watch on, their feeble minds unable to resist. Seventh of last seed, fourth era, 201. A curious thing happened today. As a fresh wave of the clawed creatures rose out of the water, one of them ran ahead of the pack and lunged right at me, snapping and chittering. Perhaps my illusion has had some kind of adverse effect on them, driving them to frenzy instead of calm submission. I will dispel the illusion for now and make do with the creatures I find close to the shore. Tenth of last seed, for there are 201. More have come from the sea with deadly intent, this, one, this time almost too many to manage. I need to be careful. Is this why do- no. No, 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 no. The, the illusion ritual ended long ago. I fear I've ignited something within them. No matter. I've come too far to stop now. Well. You got stopped. I'll just take these. And that. Ooh, satchel. Another health potion. Thank you. That's very useful. I don't think you're going to be needing it anytime soon, if at all. Oh, there's a fishing spot right there. Okay. Elven arrows, line and lure, Tolif's journal. 22nd of Sun's Height, 4th Era, 201. Sold to Wind Peak Inn. Salmon 16, Arctic Char 8, Crab Lakes 12. 30th of Sun's Height, 4th Era, 201. A traveler came passing through, Sevier. Some kind of wizard. I've got no love for wizards, but he offered me a potion for fire salt, all just for a place to lay up for a while. Of course, I agreed. Only a noble could dream of treasures like these. 2nd of Last Seat, 4th Era, 201. Sold to Wind Peak Inn, Salmon 13, Arctic Grayling 6. Last night, I seen Sevier casting his spells and mud crabs, of all things. Now, I don't have any crab to sell today, obviously. He said that I could have them while he's, when he's done, but something's not right with those crabs when he's through with them. They smell old and foul. Fifth of Last Seed, 4th Era, 201. A mud crab tried to get at me while I was sleeping last night. Good thing I keep a sharp blade under the bed. Tomorrow I'm going to tell my visitor that it's time for him to go. I've had enough of the chanting all hours of the night. 7th of Last Seed, 4th Era, 201. I can't believe it. It's true what they say. No good deed goes unpunished. 
I told Sevier that he needed to leave, and he just started ranting about how this was his place now. Said not to forget our deal, that he was not to be disturbed. Now I'm scared he'll cast his magic on me if I have another cross word with him. Ninth of last seat, 4th error, 201. Now I know what he's been up to. He's been doing awful evil magic on those crabs. Don't get me wrong, mud crabs will snap your ankles with their claws just as soon as they look at you, but they don't deserve this. I can't stay here. I'll head to Wind Peak Inn next morning. Not coming back, not ever. This place is cursed now. Oh dear. Cursed. Uh, wood plate. Search the chest. I, I need to find out what happened to that last, last mud crab, and it's entirely possible that the quest glitched. I really hope that's not the case. But it could be. It very well could be. And I, I even have the unofficial patch. So it's, it's just unfortunate that this is the way that things are going. Fishing map, the pale. All right. Yeah. Um. Nothing. There was the one that was fighting with the bandits and with the gargoyles. So I'm going to go check that before. Before I try anything else. Okay. This must have been where the gargoyles came through at. Um, well, there's a frenzied mud crab that's been taken out there. Bandit outlaw that's been taken care of. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna say it, I think the quest glitched, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reload. I don't wanna go all the way back there though. No, I Oh, that's the quick save it gives me? Ah! I have no choice. I have to go all the way back. So where's, where's this... That puts a dragon back in play, that puts cultists back in play. I was not expecting exterminating mud crabs to end up being this difficult. This is a nightmare.